Ever since I saw the first look of Mamuka and Brahma Yugam, I was simply in awe of the creative choices he has been making since the past three or four years. As Dulkar rightly pointed out, that Mamuti at this stage of his career, at the age of 72, is simply fulfilling his artistic pursuits and more importantly, is having fun. What's even more gratifying as Mamuti dabbles into a variety of characters and genres is that the audience is receptive to these interesting choices and is actually tuning in for what can be termed as experiments. I was absolutely invested in Rahul Siddha Sivan's atmospheric horror film Bhuta Kalam that released in 2022. A film that did not depend on the low-hanging tropes of the horror genre which includes jump scares and a huge dependence of an eerie score to spook audiences, but brilliantly transported us to becoming keen observers of the sinister surroundings of the mother-son duo. Collaborating with a legend like Mamuti must have been such an honour for the director. And just seeing the teaser and trailer of this film, I love that I went in for this movie, mostly not knowing anything about the era and the motives of the characters. Keeping it as vague as possible so that you can explore the beats of this unique horror film, Brahma Yugam is set in South Malabar in the 17th century and focuses on Tevan played by Arjun Ashokan, a folk singer who due to unforeseen circumstances has fled from the royal court and finds himself in a dense forest, hoping to stumble upon an oasis that can rescue him. He chances upon a dwelling where he is welcomed by a feudal lord of sorts played by Mamuti. The expansive mansion is only housed by the intimidating figure and his cook. The spooky turn of events that take place as Tevan realizes that the dwelling consists of many secrets, all posing a threat to his life, forms the basic premise of Brahma Yugam. The title reflects essentially the mood of the film, an era that represents the exodus of gods where worshipping of a higher power makes no sense and it basically marks the onset of a millennium where there is a frenzy of violence. I was immediately awestruck by the cinematography by Shainaz Jalal and the score provided by Christo Xavier. What Rahul as a director demands from you, especially in the first half of the film, is to surrender to the world he is introducing you to. The atmosphere, the motivations and the obvious power dynamics are all to set you up for the twisting and shocking revelations ahead. The black and white aesthetic is something that many people had problems with, but I think it reflected the era and environment effectively, also reminding me of the vintage Hindi horror films like Madhumati and Beast Sal Baad that heavily depended on the atmosphere that reflects the mysterious elements of the world. The eerie atmosphere and characters created by Rahul also reminded me of the Francis Ford Coppola 1992 film Dracula, where Gary Oldman, having turned into a monster in his Transylvania castle carries out several devious acts for his best interest and sometimes just for the pleasure of toying with the downtrodden. Several references like in the background shouting and wailing of those tied in chambers or the use of shadows are reminiscent of the classic. What immediately grips you about this film is that for a film that heavily depends on the audience absolutely surrendering to the vision and intricate world, reflective of folk tales told through generations, is that it needs solid actors to convey the emotional beats of the screenplay. And the three principal characters leave no stone unturned in convincing us about even the most out outlandish turn of events. Arjun Ashokan as Tevan channelizes the fear of a man, learning about his creepy surroundings with such conviction. You truly feel his pain when he is trembling and pleading with the Lord, fearing that he may, just on a whim, end his life. Siddharth Bharatran, playing the cook, is a defeated man, almost indoctrinated into the system of serving his master. Any fear or aspect that suggests an escape is something that he is desensitized to, and you see a man crumbling from within. You constantly question his loyalties and motivation, something that progressively gets etched out and catches you off guard as well. It is Mamuti, however, that I am in awe of. What can't this legend pull off? I am so blown away by his chameleon-like ability to become an unhinged monster, his towering presence, his devil-like manic laughter, the savage manner in which he feasts, the actor fully embodies a being frothing in the mouth for his prey. His introduction itself, as the score beautifully reaches a crescendo with his satanic grin. I couldn't help but clap when I saw him, having to control myself later because I realized he's literally the man we should fear in this film. The performances really allow for this movie to become a high-concept narrative that hits the nail on the head in not only being immersive, but also thought-provoking for the themes of absolute power that it wants to shed light upon. 
in many ways portions of brahma yugam has parallels with tumbad as well where greed becomes the sole contributor to self destruction and this further gets explored as things get really out of hand when tevan realizes the dark history and folklore of the abode in which he resides every way out of the mansion has a path that brings them back to the house of horrors the cinematography and staging of certain sequences in this film is masterful especially when supernatural elements come into play you see characters stuck in a psychological vortex of sorts you would imagine these are physical constraints the characters have to persevere from but upon further exploration it becomes the psychological mind games the monster wants you to assume the house can be used as an analogy of many aspects of our real life a soul sucking dwelling that keeps pulling you back in for it demands you to serve it for you feel compelled to dedicate your soul to it and would never dare to think about breaking from its shackles and orders Ram Yugam is a perfect example of a high concept film done right a creepy horror film with several themes and analogies that can reflect on the psychological state of most of us in modern society backed especially with spectacular performances by the leads and Mamuka especially you really have to witness his magic on the big screen the man is on an unreal streak with his film choices and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought of Ram Yugam Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.